everyone. After I uploaded my uh, compound curves and underturns and overturns drill, I had so much feedback that was wonderful. And one thing people ask me for is if I had a similar exercise to work on the ascender loops and descender loops. But we're going to look at just the ascender loops today. So these are your letters L, K, B, D, um, H, and so on. And the drill we're going to try is we're going to break down these two parts, the upstroke and downstroke, and see if that helps you improve your technique. Well, I think it'll help you improve your technique. So remember last video, I showed you how to break down the underturns, overturns, and compound curves into those upstrokes and downstrokes. So we're going to try to do the same thing with the ascender loop. So there's our upstroke and there's our downstroke. So what you're going to do for this exercise is you're going to um, here's your X height, first of all. You're going to draw your upstroke and it'll touch that, um, well, technically, it'll be the middle of this loop here. Uh, that's where the loop touches when you do this exercise. And then you will do your thick downstroke there. So it's, what's important here again is you're working on the spacing and the size of the loop. So this is for your standard loop. This isn't for a huge loop. So let us go do our light upstroke first and your angle. This will help with your angle. I see so many issues with the angle of the ascender loops. And now keeping this same distance right there, I'm going to uh, do my downstroke all the way down like this. And now I am going to draw my loop. So I do my upstroke first. I have that spacing and I will start here because we start at the waistline. This is the waistline, ascender line and baseline. And I'm going to go up and when before I'm going to touch here and then curve up and come down. So I'm going to go lightly up, touch, curve and come down like that. Oops, I should go all the way down. Okay, so let's do that again. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and you can see I'm trying to save paper here. So I'm using my practice sheet. So you can download this free practice sheet with the lines on my website, or you can pick up my work, uh, sorry, my paper pad, practice paper pad in the links that I provide below the video. So light upstroke, stop. And we want this spacing, so I'm going to come down right about here. Stop there at the baseline. And now I'm going to draw the loop. I'm going to, uh, sorry, draw the whole ascender loop with these are my guidelines. Light up, touch, come up, and come down. Now, there is going to be a space here. I'm not going to touch the top of this uh, D, uh, sorry, this um, stem, the top of this downstroke. I'm going to, it's going to curve right here. I'm going to use a different color pen that you can see. Oh, that one's pretty big. Oh, well, whatever. See that? And you see that space there? Okay, I'm going to do it again. And then, um, and what you're going to do is just a whole row of these, uh, and try to put them close together, right, to save our paper. I've just seen so much wasted paper when people space their exercises so far apart, their drills. Uh, and I want to keep this spacing, so this is going to help with my spacing and my judgment. And I have this, this is the same spacing as that, hopefully. Then I'm going to start here at my waistline, go up to the right, cut curve, and come down. And there you will see I have these really nice loops, okay? So you can do rows and rows of this. Light upstroke, thick downstroke, and then, oh, my angle's a little bit off on that, and then your ascender loop. And this way, oh, you can see this, I wasn't, I was going too fast and I made this a little bit wider. So your goal when you're learning is to be super consistent. You don't have to, when you're writing words, be, have every loop exactly the same. 
but your goal when you're practicing as a beginner and you're training your hand is to have your loops the same way so that when you go into your freehand practice, um, I'll just move it down here so you can see it more clearly, you should be able to maintain that same loop size and the same angle every time you draw a loop. Mine are pretty good. I like this one the best, it has a little bit of a, a wobble there. Um, and then what you can do is after you work on this drill, you can try a letter like the letter L. Let's try the letter L and join them together. Again, that will improve your spacing. So let's try here. I'm gonna do a light upstroke, entrance stroke. Drew, draw my uh, descender loop exit. I was a little bit off here. And then start here. Draw my upstroke, descend, underturn, here, upstroke, des. Try not to rush it. Okay, and then your spacing, you can see this one's too close. Your spacing should be the same. Your, your loop should be the same. I probably shouldn't even show this. <laughs> and you will um, improve those ascender loops and, um, and have success with those letters. Thanks for watching.